play. I really don't remember where we left off. I was really sick last Saturday, and so I didn't play. Oh, okay, yeah, so we just got, um, some of those bio samples or whatever. And that lunatic who was watching too much TV. Yeah, okay. We'll chat about it after that. Sorry, I just have to talk to my crew real quick. See if there's any new dialogues. I don't think that there is. Alrighty, what runs do we have? Oh yeah, let's go give those to Dr. Dr. E. Go to Drogan Keepa or whatever. Let's see, doctor's up here, right? What am I dressed as? What outfit is this? My industrious jumpsuit. Alright. Yes, that's cool. Oh, I need to see if I can get some S-Class drones now. What? I'm gonna return the bio samples. did that. Okay, it's checked off. I'm an idiot. So let's take the U-Bond then. Yeah, we not only already turned them into them, but I already looked through his uh, <coughs> inventory. I don't have enough money to buy a new drone anyways. have to go solo. Yeah, it is. With Blitz just remotely backing me up. Oh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Drogan Keeper. It'd be high up on anyone's list of places to avoid, but that's where you're headed, and you're going there alone this time. The last time you saw Blitz, he was carting his portable terminal over to Cafe Sesve. I don't know. Presumably so he could do his decking in the most comfortable environment possible. Like everything else related to Drogon Keepa. Keepa? Keep. Kippy? 
don't know. The U-Bahn train that services it is in poor repair. The car that you're riding in stinks like a chemical toilet on a hot day. On the floor near the doorway, you catch sight of a trampled lump of tattered fur. The longer you stare at it, the more convinced you become that you're looking at the remains of a long dead squirrel. The train rumbles to a stop and the doors slide open. Time to get this over with. Alrighty. Uh, we could take our charisma armor. If we're all alone, it might come in handy. But the drone combat would also come in handy. Oh well, we're going with a fancy suit. Uh, I don't even remember what we're doing on this job. Um, clearing Blitz's debt. I'll keep my jumpsuit. I hope I don't regret it. Stepping out of the Yuban Tunnel, you once again find yourself in the squalid alleys of Drogon Keeper. This place is a pit. Piles of waste, human and otherwise, litter the streets. The gutted husks of commercial buildings stand hollow and empty all around you. Your comlink crackles to life, and you can hear the distant sounds of the cafe. Merriment, laughter, and the clink of silverware on china. Blitz's voice cuts in a second later. Hey, Chief, ready to do this thing? Um, hmm. Yeah, yeah, I have a question. Yeah? You hear a slurping sound, presumably Blitz taking a sip of a steaming hot soy calf. The only steam you can see out here is your own breath condensing in the frigid night air. Uh, what's up? <sighs> Never mind. Oh, come on, Chief. Where's your sense of adventure? I mean, you get to rob a bank. How whiz is that? I'm robbing a bank. Okay. Oh, great. Okay. I should have worn my suit. A plain looking man in a fancy suit taps away at his PDA. He's an older guy, probably in his late 50s, in the filth strewn streets of Drogenkippe. He stands out like a sore thumb. At the sound of your approach, he stops what he's doing and shifts his gaze to you. Uh, jet the rigor, right? Who the hell are you? Uh, my name is Hassenkamp. I'm Mr. Grinder's accountant. What a coincidence. Uh, Mr. Grinder sent me to ensure that the money transfer goes according to plan. When you enter the building, I'm going in with you. Welcome aboard. Ooh, um... Yeah, yeah, we are here to, uh... On behalf of Grinder, so why not let the client send a, along a buddy? <laughs> of course not. 
What the hell is this? Grinder didn't say anything about his accountant tagging along. Uh, case in point. Hello, Blitz. Answer the question, man. If Grinder wanted you here, why didn't he say so up front? Hmm. Mr. Grinder doesn't have to explain himself to you. You're in his pocket, remember? If you want back out of it, you'll do what he says. How did Meat Grinder know it'd be you? Oh. Okay. Let's, let's get going. No, oh, I just want to go. I agree. Wow, grandkids. Wow, this sucks. So I need to go through this one, but I'm sure there's juicy stuff through all the others. Wait, I can talk to it? Visitor, identity unknown. Please present security code string. Oh, okay. Well, let's see here. Override security access, root command, trap door. Access granted. Okay, sweet. Can I even go through all those other ones then? They're not going to let me use those auto turrets. This is going to go badly though, right? Surely. Check my creds with your friend back there. Go on, I can wait. Query, now may I help you today? Just step aside, pal. I'm in a rush. Proceed and have a pleasant day. Don't mind if I do. Alrighty. How deep are we going to be able to get before it goes south? Oh. Let's inspect. Main system hardware firewall. And that should do it, Chief. You're good to head on inside. The main server should be just ahead. A shocking display of competence from the red-haired disaster. That's what Mr. Grinder calls your pal, by the way. He's got a rep around these parts for some strange reason. All of his friends keep dying. Uh, don't listen to that asshole, Chief. He shouldn't even be here. <laughs> I hate to burst your bubble, but I'm not overly enthusiastic about either of you. So let's just get this over with, alright? Yeah, I've hit the first firewall in here. I need you to get in there and install that bypass for me. Okay, sweet. Um, well, great. Which way? Wow, this place is... 
a real crap fest. I'm sure they're empty, right? Really? I mean, it seems real fishy to have a drawer packed full of crest sticks. I think that they're black. And I think that they're probably like rigged to stuff an alarm or something if I slot one. Oh, I am sort of ignoring their dialogue, sorry. Is this a term? Oh no, that's medical supplies. Yeah, watch out this drawer, dude. Oh, okay. Hmm. That's not gonna take long. Money lending. Yes, those Landenberg pricks have been a ticking on his ass for years now. Sucking away at the revenue that should be lining his pockets. Bad business all around. Thankfully, we're going to recover at least a little of that cash tonight. Speaking of which... Aha. Plots. I have a real and pressing concern about this silent partner you've brought on for the loan center scheme. We don't need him. I keep saying it, but nobody listens. Call me. JB. Real and pressing. I don't ever know if the capitalized words have some sort of significance. Son of a bitch, I had to share an office with that man for... <laughs> Never mind, you don't need to know. Plot thickens. Okay, let's get these magical flies. Surely you don't have any complaints about that, dude. Dig through the trash. Yeah, it's all part of the job. Are we on a deadline? We're looking for notes, man. Where'd you store, score that stuff, man? That juice that you were passing around. That stuff was unreal. I'm serious, man. I haven't been that high since grad school. When you get your hands on more, you let me know. <laughs> Let's ask... <laughs> Let's ask Hassenkamp about every little piece of trash that we find. <laughs> Let's see. A man named A scored some juice, and it was really unreal stuff. So what do I make of it? A couple of things. One, the Landenberg ring has some real fuck-ups on its payroll. And two, you're wasting your time. Our time. Of the two, I'm more upset about the second, because it involves you keeping me here in the cesspool longer than I need to be. Yeah, it does. Yeah, okay, ask a silly question. Oh. Okay, no, so he's just saying, like, ask a silly question, dot, 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 and I guess get a silly answer. There was a whole door we didn't go through. Oh, 
Oh, I don't have the key code. Okay, I'm a numeric key code. Okay, let's go around to that other door. Okay, this must be the way we're supposed to go, but... Okay, I'm gonna use the comm panel. Oh no, that, this, this is the way that we need to go, because that's where the um, objective is. So what's here? Can I look through these windows better? Boarded up. Yes, computers. Yeah, surely you won't complain about me accessing computer terminals. Albert Trips. Um, unreal. Juice. Hmm. Okay, what about this? This desk is an oasis of order amidst the chaos of the rest of the building. Papers and chips are stacked neatly, or filed by name and date. There's even an old-fashioned coffee mug filled with a random assortment of graphite pencils and ink pens. Hmm, this desk is actually organized. It must belong to somebody in management. Time's wasting. Let's keep moving. Interesting. Oh, I'm not strong enough. Oh, man. Can I go back and read one of those notes? Like, what was the note about A and... Pressing. Oh wait, that door's open. What? Oh, 
go. The sheaf of banking information. Paperwork all points to meat grinder. Plots. Oh, I'll try that as the password. Plots. Okay. Hmm. Now we better keep moving. Grinder's waiting. Yeah, we've heard Plotz a number of times. Jürgen Plotz. He's the leader of the Landenberg Ring. I had to share an office with that miserable son of a bitch for five years before we went our separate ways. He's the greediest, most narcissistic piece of work that I've ever met, and I work for a loan shark. Yeah, feelings probably mutual. No, no he's not. Anyway, in the end it doesn't matter. Mr. Grinder will get paid and Plotz is gonna write the check. Why would Mr. Grinder's financial records be here? Why, to, to steal from him, most likely. But these records, they don't make any sense. Care to explain that to the rest of us? I, I know Mr. Grinder's books. I tend them for him. And I'm telling you, what I'm seeing in here doesn't add up. Yeah, in what way? Oh, I am seeing projections for future profits in here that run way outside the scope of what our organization brings in annually. I don't know how Plotz got his hands on this information, but it couldn't be any more wrong. Maybe there's something going on you don't know about. Could Grander be working a deal under your nose? Something he wants to keep you insulated from, maybe. Then why would he send them? No, no, no way. That would be financial suicide. Mr. Grinder is good at intimidating people and breaking kneecaps. When it comes to keeping the business running, I'm the man he turns to. Have been for a dozen years. Yeah. Hmm, maybe I should. Alright, there's something we can pick up here. Let's grab it. Keycards, sweet. Are these doors openable now? No. Okay, we have to go all the way around. What if I use plots as the password to this computer? Enter a password. Enter a password. Plots. No. Come on. Well, we can use that key card. Wham. Oh, no. Server decker. Uh, let's see. You, what do you wield? Oh, you're pretty useless yourself. Okay, that's a cower back here. And we'll use this. Anywhere you can get cover. Oh, well, I guess he can afford to get shot a little bit. Hopefully, the drone will. Uh, oh, really? 
Okay, the drone did keep him distracted. Nice. Didn't take a hit. Oh, I can open that door now. The interface has been locked. Uh, Blitz, awful lot of cables back here. Come on, Chief, it's not that complicated. They're running a hardware firewall. You'll find it installed on the main Matrix LAN just before it reaches the server. Sever. The first sever. Good stuff, really. For, oh, for Christ's sake, quit preening and talk him and walk him through it. Yeah, I need I need instructions. Well, all right, Chief, I'll take you through the steps. First, you find the main matrix line. There'll be a heavy-duty optical cable that's wired in through the wall from outside. Good. Now find the first box that cable connects into. It'll have three cables plugged into it. One power, two optical. Connect the ends of the bypass to the two optical cables. Sweet. That's it. I'm in. That wasn't so hard now, was it? I mean, I agree. I should be techy enough to have known that already. Like, I might not be a decker, but as a rigger, I would think that I'm skilled enough to do it. Okay, so there's another hardware firewall there. Oh, uh, there's going to be enemies in here. Who's this? Take bit. Take bit? Take bit. What the hell are these? Sure, let's take bit. Oh, okay. Hmm, an activation bit. Time to go socket it in a, in, to a plug. Or something. Oh, okay. Oh, guess this is a fun little puzzle. I'm down. Uh, so I have no way to use that bit. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay, that's what I'm actually trying to get to. Let's get the teller door open, though. There was an item it looked like. Are all of these just going to lock us in? Thank you. Hey, Chief, I found something you might want to have a look at. Looks like some sort of persona known grata list uh, for the Lindenberg Ring. Everyone on here is listed. Shoot on site. There are a lot of names on here. Lots of personal information, too. Known associates, credit history, hollow picks, that kind of thing. With three names on this list that I recognize, one of them's mine, naturally. The Lannenbergs and the, the Sorja never did get along. No, there's Hasenkamps. No, I'm not surprised. These bastards would just love my head on a plate. And, uh, Chief, the other one's yours. They've got a whole dossier on you. No idea where they got it from, or why, but they have it. <sighs> so yeah, Grinder must have sent Hawson Camp here to get rid of him. That's great. Blitz should not have spilled the beans. That is not good. Uh, welcome to the club. I wouldn't worry too much about it. I don't. This uh, dossier looks like a new file. It was just uploaded about 20 minutes ago. Hang on, there's an attachment. I'll send it to you. Plots. Here's the intel on those unwanted guests I warned you about. They're coming tonight. Take appropriate precautions. Uh, 
I'm not surprised. He tried to micromanage everything when we worked together. Everything had to be exactly how he wanted it, all the time. I can't imagine that's changed now. Uh, yeah. Oh, I think we do have to worry. Let's grab this. Slot this puppy in here. And now we can take this. Uh, what does this do? Okay, this lets take this bit. Heck yeah. that teller area. <laughs> Hope it's a good item in there. Hey Chief, I just cracked open a security door somewhere in your area. Might be worth checking out. Will you tell him to concentrate on the job? We're here to settle his debt, not hunt for souvenirs. Yeah, we'll look into it. Mm, great. Sweet. Hey, thanks for doing that, but it's no problem, Chief. It's great to be appreciated. Yep. No one ever appreciates you, Blitz. Oh, I'm gonna need to bring back one of those other bits, too. To hack. Alright, you're clear in the secured area. Keep your eyes open, Chief. There's a tiny chance you might bump into some physical security from here on. You said there wouldn't be any security in this building. Easy in, easy out, no security? That's what you told Mr. Grinder. Those were your exact words. Yeah, well, the situation's changed uh, a bit. Look, I'm not saying you will hit security, I'm just saying you might. So keep your eyes open and lower the next firewall, okay? Alrighty, let's go. Where's the sick item? Uh, oh, that is actually pretty decent. Portable grenade launcher. bad I can't use it but I can sell it well okay I don't see anyone yet oh there's definitely going to be people in here no? Oh. Hello. Why can I see you? Are these- oh, okay, those windows, I guess, work. They look like they're covered with gunk, but... Okay. Look sharp. Security doesn't look like they see us. I have no idea how. 
and I wouldn't mind fighting them, to be honest. Let's save, how about that? So I can send my drone in there. Right? No, I can't. Okay, I guess I don't have any choice right now except to go open that door. That's probably going to trigger them in some some way. They're here like just waiting for us. Oh, what is this wall? Okay, these are like security deposit boxes or something. And there's clearly a fighting room. We have multiple shaman summoning areas. Uh, I don't like this. Got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, it doesn't get second firewall. Ooh, the button depresses with a meaty thunk. That's done it, Chief. The final firewall just went down. I should be clear to access this, that secure node now. Done and done. This will be easy as pie. You wait and see. Well, that's all fine and good, but be quick about it. There were some guards in the other room, and I don't want to be here if they decide to come exploring. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. You two cool your jets. I'll let you know as soon as the vault door is open. Because uh, that's not going to pull in security at all. I wonder if I can take a bit with me through this. I don't see any plugs. Hack vault door. So there are two doors I can go through. Or two portals. Portal medus. I'll hack the vault door after I explore. Door control south. Why is it red? Oh, so do I need to hack this over here but no I don't know why are it why is it red door north okay that must be our escape route or something let's try and crack open the vault Nothing else to do. Alright, Chief, that should do it. The vault's open and I'm suppressing the alarm. Easy as pie, just like I said. Yes, yes, we're all very impressed. Now let's get this show on the road, shall we? Alrighty. Oh, that must have been door control north and south. Must have been the, for those two doors. Why couldn't I open them, though? Up. Oh, are, we, are we sealed in here now? I'll handle the transfer from here, thank you. So wait a minute, maybe I'm thinking about this wrong. Maybe, no. So I have been thinking that maybe Grinder has set us all up and is trying to get rid of just all three of us. But maybe, maybe not. Maybe Blitz is legitimately working for Grinder and Hassenkamp is the one who has betrayed Grinder. 
Uh. Hmm. Let's just let him be my guest. Like, maybe he's pissed off that Grinder's working with plots, and so he has set set this all up to fuck over Grinder. And we're just being duped and following him. Very good. Only one more thing that needs doing, and then we can get out of here. Yeah, what one more thing? That took care of Blitz's debt to Mr. Grinder, but consider this interest. Hey, whoa, hold up. I don't know any interest. Grinder didn't say anything about interest. If you're grabbing things out of that safe deposit box, I want to cut. Just wait here for a minute. I'll be back. No, this is a horrible idea. What? Oh, he's fucking us over, isn't he? Yes, Mr. Grinder, the package is secure. That's right, I'm holding it now. I'll have it to your hands in the next 15 minutes. This bullshit, Chief. Bo writes that box should be ours. This was our run. Um... Now what is it? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're just here to cl clear, clear your name, Blitz. Yeah. So come on. Settle down. Just here to do a job. Maybe we can get out of here without killing Hassan Kong. All right, the deal is done. Let's get out of here. Objective escape. Okay, here's where the fighting is, I guess. Game saved, awesome. Upon approaching the vault door, two things become immediately apparent. One, when you stepped into the vault, the door sealed and latched behind you. And two, there's no obvious way to open it from where you're standing. What do you mean, Chief? The vault door, idiot. There's no way to open it from here. You did account for that, didn't you? Uh, oops. Oops. I, uh, I think I might have missed that detail when I planned this run through. And we can't just open it again from, like, he's standing at the vault door control. Can't he just open it? Yeah, get the store open, man. Easy there, easy there, Chief. Just cool your jets. Let me get to work on this. I'll figure something out. Don't you worry. I knew that something like this was going to happen. When Mr. Grindmate Grinder told me who I'd be checking up on, I just knew it. Yeah, calm down. Blitz will get us out. I trust him. Uh, thanks for the vote of confidence, Chief. I'll get you out of there. Just give me two more seconds. One. Two. <laughs> uh, all right, Chief. I think I can see how to get you out of there. You give me the go ahead. I'm gonna try something, but there's a catch. Well, right now I'm keeping about four different alarms from triggering. No big deal. I can handle it. But I won't lie. Open that door is gonna be tough. It'll take concentration. I don't think I can keep all four alarms locked down while I'm doing it. So you're telling us that in order to open the door, you're going to have to set off the alarm. Do I have that right? Well, technically, you set off the alarm when you stepped into the vault. All I'm doing is keeping the signals locked down so they can't get out. And I might be able to release the lock fast enough to catch the alarms before they sound, but I can't guarantee it. Oh, frick. Now, oh, if I could duck, I could help him out, man. All right. Great. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's leave. Now alarm's gone off in both Meat Space and the Matrix. Great. Howdy, folks. So, I think I get here. I turn on this drone. This drone moves there. Getting there. Let's try and spread out a little bit in case I have grenades. And uh, let's just let's just go to town. Missed. Drone buddies, you suck. Thank goodness. What? Wow, that did a lot of damage. I'm impressed, Hassan You okay, bro? <coughs> I'm gonna save. Duty maglock clicking shut. The light above that exit door goes from green to red. Yeah, Chief, I'm uh, getting right on it. <laughs> what a goddamned train wreck. Okay, Chief, I figured out how to get you out of there. You're gonna have to release a couple of locks. You can find the controls in the rooms to the north and south of your current position. But in order to get to those locks, I'm gonna have to hold the doors open for you. Now on my end, holding even one of those doors open is going to be a full-time job. There's no way I can hold both at once. So once I've opened the door, you'll have to run in and release the lock, then get back out again. I won't be able to do much else until you do. Okay. Once we release both locks, you need to get out of there as quick as possible. Great. Wonderful. Oh, great. Um, hmm. 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 No. Oh, I can go down that alleyway. Okay. I want to use an ESP. <coughs> do I have a blaster? I do have a blaster. Take that, guys. Not to use an erosion. That's fine. Get our drones up. I'll just stay in this corner back here. Nice. And maybe we can save what's them from having to open this door. Awesome. Uh, you go there. 
we're kind of a little bit clustered, but hopefully it won't be a big deal. Really? Go for me? Oh crap, they might kill me. Um, hmm. Well, great. Uh, so we need to start going to this side. Shoot me from all the way over there. Okay, let's try and take out one of them. Oh, wow, they still miss me? What the heck? Yeah, let's just go for it. You, I need you to uh, go over here. Please administer healing. Thank you, my friend. Goodness Blitz is incredibly difficult to hit, I guess. Uh. Alright, there's gonna be more enemies through here, right? they start getting lucky. Eighty-one <coughs> percent. Uh, target head. Uh, much lowers our odds. Combat is not over though, so I don't like that. Oh, of course. Blitz. Oh no. Oh. Holy crap. They're going to kill you, Blitz. Run away. now. Mission failed. Great. When, when, when did we save last? <clears throat> it was while we're still in the vault, right?
Okay, no, so we cleared the first bunch of dudes at least. <coughs> Blitz to use an ESP, I think. I forgot about that. Uh, but for now, maybe we can do the same thing, get them in easy blaster range. is not doing fantastic, but it is what it is. You heal thyself. <laughs> now run. Hang out down here, please. Up. 
somebody that massacred you. first. Explodo buddy. Go over here. Take hits for me. so unprotected. I wonder, can I get a shot from up here maybe? Not a great shot. Exploder bot, what can you do? You can bomb? Oh, explode self. I don't know if we want to actually do that. <coughs> okay, okay, that's fine. Erode. Open, you gotta get in there, release the lock. Okay, we are ready. Awesome comp, that's all on you, buddy. my main dude to a different position. Okay, there's actually a better place for me to move Jack, really. Get those meds. Ugh. up a grenade, I think. <coughs> okay, Jack, please move.
Nice. Okay, we are still in combat though. Okay, that's fine. <coughs> Escape. Um. Okay, that'll have to do. effective at Overwatch. That's fine, Jack. He's gonna Blitz is gonna lock the doors behind us, right? That takes care of that. All locked up tight. You should be clear to make your exit. Thank God for that. I hate to admit it, Blitz, but you did good back there. It sounded like a telemarketer, but let me just make sure. <coughs> well, I don't know. We'll see. Through the front door. <coughs> Just go with me on this, Chief. The door you came in through is no good. You want to go out the front. There's a terminal that'll need you to access. One more button to press. You do that, we're home free. Let's save. <clears throat> so the front door. So we came in, I guess, through over here, through like an alleyway. Uh... 
Oh, okay, is this the front door? Um, excuse me. Awesome comp, what are you doing? <coughs> They're going to all turn and shoot you, buddy. Come on, let's get this show on the road. We're almost out of this godforsaken place. Well, you're half right. Jack's almost out. You, on the other hand, won't ever leave this building, you son of a bitch. Uh, Blitz, what, what the heck? Shut up and listen, Chief. Hausenkamp is planning on screwing you. I've uh, had a bot digging up intel on the man ever since you stepped in that building together. And let me tell you, he is not trustworthy. Says the man who ratted out his own gang. To hell with this. I'm leaving. I wouldn't if I were you. Jack there can kill you with the press of a button. I can? Well, more accurately, he can give me control of those auto turrets with the press of a button. And then I can kill you. But he wouldn't do that, would he? Yeah, Blitz, tell, tell me what you scooped up. <coughs> Get this, Chief. That son of a bitch isn't really an accountant. He's an assassin. And Grinder's second in command to boot. Making people disappear is his job, Jack. No way Grinder would have just sent him if he intended to let you walk out of there alive. The bit about my place and Mr. Grinder's organization? Sure. The part about me killing you? No. I intend to walk out that door, give the box to Mr. Grinder, and go home to my family, like I said. <coughs> it wasn't a lie. I am an accountant. I'm here in that capacity at Mr. Grinder's request. People can be more than one thing, you know. Don't let him sweet talk, you chief. Push the button, let me blow him away. Jack, listen to me. Your pal is a thief and a killer, and a rat. You push that button, and I'll die, sure. But Mr. Grinder is waiting for me, and he's waiting for this box. And you don't want the kind of trouble that that's gonna come your way if I don't get it to him. <clears throat> so, I don't think Hassan Khan was gonna screw me over and kill me. But I do think he's not giving it to Mr. Grinder and working with Mr. Grinder. I think he's going to keep the box. Mr. Grinder's going to be super pissed, even more so at Blitz and I. So we probably should kill him. The box should be ours. What is the box, though? <coughs> <laughs> See what I mean? That's what this is all about. He wants the box. He doesn't even know what it is, but he's willing to kill an old band for it. How is that not sending up red flags for you? I'm telling you, I work for a loan shark, and I wouldn't feel safe around this guy. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, I think we've all been set up. I think your boss is in bed with the... Yes! Yes. I'm not high. <coughs> I've known Mr. Grinder for 12 years, and I'm telling you, he would never work with that son of a bitch. Besides, if that were true, why would he have sent me in here to help you rob the place? Yeah, killing two birds with one stone. Oh, really? He isn't being cute, jackass. He's accurately describing the situation. Obviously, Meat Grinder wants you out of the way. Throwing around words like obviously doesn't make them true. Why the hell would Mr. Grinder want to get rid of me? I run his business, for God's sake. I don't know, man, but one thing I can tell you. Somebody gave Plots that info on us. 
and Jack the Rigger's name was on that list. Now tell me, other than you, me, and Grinder, who even knew he'd be coming here tonight? And why wasn't Grinder's name on Plots' kill list? Yeah, we also found the projections. <laughs> Those were fake, though. Or they were real, and your boss is cutting you out of whatever he has planned. No, no, no way. Mr. Grinder wouldn't do a thing like that. Not to me. Uh, are we going to be screwed over by not being able to get into that computer terminal and get whatever info is in there? Or in that drawer? <clears throat> yeah, use your business acumen. What happens when uh, they merge? When they merge? Why, they form a monopoly. You're saying that Mr. Grinder and Plots? They're joining their businesses together, man. Read between the lines. It's actually not a bad scheme, come to think of it. The ring tricks idiots into taking out predatory loans, and Grinder shows up to collect. You get the irony of what you just said, right? Sure, I get it. And you get what your boss is cutting. And you get that your boss is cutting you out of his operation, right? Yeah, wake up, man. Wake up, sheeple. What you've just told us about plots, he wouldn't want you in the picture either. There's bad blood between you two, right? Yeah, yes, there is. Well, son of a bitch. So I guess that means we're on the same team now, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And as a show of good faith, I'll tell you, your pal is right. Grinder sent me here to see that tr the transaction went through smoothly, yes. But he also wanted me to kill you. Oh. Told ya. Uh, yeah, just doing a job. <coughs> Thanks, I was hoping you would. For what it's worth, you've nothing to fear from me now. I didn't want to kill you in the first place. And now that I've... Let's just say tendered my resignation. There are only two people who need to worry about me shooting them. Just to be clear, I'm not one of those two people, am I? <laughs> no, Blitz, you're not. When we get out of here, I have a score to settle with Plots and Grinder. Believe me, I will settle it. Uh, so great, how do we get out of here, friends? Yeah, of course, Chief. If you do me a favor of pushing that button, I'll activate the security doors. That's all you're going to do, right? I'm trusting you here. Of course, man. Nothing to worry about from me anymore. Yeah, cool. Blitz? There's somebody in here with me, Chief. Another Decker. And you've got incoming at your low. Great. You've got company. Oh, these turrets are bad turrets now? Oh no. Uh, who the hell are you, man? I could ask the same of you. You're in my banking system, you little bastard. What? My name's Plotz. I run the Landenberg Ring. That makes this bank and everything in it mine. That means that you and your friend are trespassing, and that means that neither of you is going to make it out of here alive. Shaking my boots, man. I mean, seriously. How old are you, by the way? Because you look about 40. I'm still spry enough to ruin your day, punk. Your ass is mine. Okay, so my buddies need turrets. I gotta get the turrets going. Um, <clears throat> number one priority. Oh, frick. Can 
not activate this? Oh, maybe I can't. How's he flanked? <coughs> wow, that does so little damage. Oh, this guy's gonna murder me. Oh, so they're turning the turrets over to their side. Well, crap. Can I go turn one of these other turrets back? I can. Crap. Oh. oh no. Okay, hang out by auto turret three, I guess. We are bone. Can't believe I wasted my ESPs on um destroyed. What are they doing? I don't understand. I'm dead. Well then. I don't know how to do this battle. <clears throat> I'll have to go through a whole big dialogue again. Let's see. Three caramels. Go through all this again. <coughs> I 
Awesome. Okay, saving. Just want to go through all that dialogue again. I don't know if Go for it. You might hit. <sighs> okay, Blitz, can you take out this dude? Let's get smoke up. shot that far. <laughs> okay, but let's take out this mother trucker. again. Okay, but let's work on getting towards that one.
can't tar him from here. No. I'm sorry, friend. Oh, really? Can you just summon in, like an infinite number of those? Okay, all the turrets are presently mine. Awesome. Because this rigor must die. That's fine, he's in our dust cloud, so it's hard to Nice. Maybe if I can take out these guys in deep space, um, it'll help Blitz in some way. about you. How? Uh, no, we don't need to heal yet. Okay, now we can heal. Oh, that was not as effective as I was hoping. Stay alive, Blitz, please. Smoke cloud. Nice. Uh, Blitz, you are frickin' dead. Um... He's so strong. Do 
I have to look up like a walkthrough for this battle. Jeez. <clears throat> Turn this one. You need to go do that one. still eroding, I think, so it's dead. behind the shrubbery. Oh, oh yeah, we have to take out that ring.
No. Oh, we have him at like half health, don't we? How'd that happen? Maybe we should save. And we'll always be able to go back to another save if we get our slopes in an unwillingable position. Let's get as far away from this guy as possible. Um. Is that the best I can do? I mean, I need to heal myself too, though. dead just from that erosion to be honest. Yeah, two turns to it. So Blitz has to take zero damage those other two turns. Like everywhere I move it's somewhere he can shoot me and he has, seems to hit me a lot more easily than I hit him. I'm still eroding. I'm going to die next turn. I don't have anything I can do about it. I think I'm in an unwinnable position. <sighs> if I take these guys down quickly enough. Yeah, get tired. Oh, 
but you're definitely gonna kill me now. Whatever. Well, this blitz can survive. How does this? I can't just. I just can't land enough damage on him. Just survive with, please. Yeah, whatever, it can turn the turrets. Do we just start trying to take out the turrets now? Keep coming until Blitz can kill that guy, and he can't. How am I supposed to do this battle? I feel like I'm gonna have to, like, up some strats or something.
tab to get repaired. Oh, you have grenades. Of course I missed. Whatever. Grenades. Erosion killed me. Yeah, let's look up some some strats. Feels bad. <laughs> okay, uh, so the strat is just get good. Awesome.
let's rewind. Okay. Let's do it. No, but yeah, just just doing either the Meat Space Battle or the Matrix one does not impact the other. I have to. I have to figure out how Blitz is going to kill this guy. Make him come to us. Okay, then we'll come out here and we'll just uh, double team him, I guess. And we'll ignore the turrets and let our buddies deal with those. Let's tar us all. Oh, that damage is all too. I'm dumb. sit down here and have my drones activate from here. Let's try out in the smoke. to end this guy. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to, uh, I need to activate another one of these turrets so that the, um, the elves will go after me. No! No. How the hell am I going to do this?
so let's make him come over here. That's fine. Don't waste my heal on it. Got really close, he won't be able to blast her on us. He'll still rev us, but. Okay, we still have a friendly turret. We can get here in one action. And we can. Really, how did we miss that? God, that took forever. So many tries. Let's save. Holy cow. Okay, so now we just have to run around, take control of all the turrets. So that our buddies in meat space can continue existing in meat space. I still have two turrets. Blitz, you, you do. 
Sheesh. Please. Please get to these stars and turn them on. Okay, all the turrets are mine. Blots is down. All four turrets are back under my control. Go to town, chief. I've got you covered. Sweet. I look at them huddled against that turret. What idiots. <laughs> Okay, turrets, do do some good work for us, please. No. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, except all the turrets miss. What sort of garbage is that? Um, why did only two of the turrets shoot them? The other two just not have a lot of sight. positions. Oh, turrets have to reload. I didn't actually realize that. So I think I was just having so much trouble because I was uh, being such a scary cat of um, that other decker. Gunfire dies down and the smoke clears. You and Hassenkamp find yourself staring at another across a room stacked with corpses. Well, that takes care of that. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to take care of Mr. Grinder. He tosses some to you. Reflexively, you snatch it out of the air. The object feels smooth and warm to the touch. It's the plastic box the Hassenkamp pulled out of the safe deposit box. My former employer won't be needing this anymore. Give it to your pal, Blitz. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Hey, alright. Uh, beats me. From the connections on the bottom, it looks like it was made to plug into a cyber deck. Beyond that, I'm as in the dark about the thing as you are. All I know is that the grinder wanted it. 
That should be good enough for the red-haired disaster. Anyway, I've got things to do. I should get to them. If I hurry, I can have Grinder dead in a dumpster and still get home in time to read the grandkids a story. Uh, what about plots? Never did like the man. I'll give him a chance to scurry away. Let him get his hopes up for a day or two. And then I'm gonna chuck his ass into a wood chipper. Oh, good luck, man. I don't need luck, but thanks anyway. You did good, Jack. You ever get tired of running the shadows, you come see me. I could find a place in my organization for a man like you. Sweet, let's hightail it out of here. Man, that battle took so long, though. The ride back to the KB is a lonely one. This train car smells a little better than the one you rode in on. It isn't great, but at least it doesn't leave you gagging. Still, things are looking up. You've helped Blitz pull himself out of hot water, and with any luck, you'll never have to set foot in Drogon Keepa again. After a long, boring trip, the car rattles to a stop. The doors slide open, and you're home. Okay, let's go talk to Blitz. Yeah, here's your uh, plastic. Oh, hey, Chief, you're back. And you got the box, right? Give it here if you please. Yeah, here's your box, dude. Hey, all right, Chief. Let's plug this puppy in and see what it does. Whoa, this is weird. The data hard coded in this thing is jam packed with comlink software. Looks like it's got protocols for all of the major brands. Sysadmin level tools, too. And there's something else. Yeah, what? <laughs> this thing is like a master key for communication systems. With this box plugged into my deck, I could hack the comlink of just about anyone in the same room as me. Use your imagination, Chief. Just about every security goon in Berlin's hot wired to a comm system of some kind or another. If I can hijack those comms, I can cause all sorts of confusion in the ranks on our runs. This is one hell of a toy. I can see why Grinder wanted it. Nice. Anything else you want to talk about? I kind of start playing around with this thing. Yeah, did you really forget about that vault door, dude? Of course it was, Chief. I'm shocked you'd even ask. What do you think? I'd purposefully strand you in a bank vault? And what kind of asshole would I have wanted to... Would have... To be to do that. Yeah, sorry, man. Sweet. Oh yeah, have you found uh, Emily? Yeah, actually, I've made some headway. For the first time in a year, I have a solid lead. I thought I'd looked everywhere. Between my contacts and myself, we scoured, uh, scoured all of M's old haunts, both in Meat Space and the Matrix. But I never thought uh, to dig for clues in my own cyber deck. It seems so obvious now, but back then I couldn't see it. I mean, she was running from me, right? So why should we leave any uh, breadcrumbs for me to find? Anyway, I did some housekeeping. I discovered something. On the morning that Emily disappeared, some information vanished on my cyber deck as well. She did a good job of covering her tracks, but I can see the signs. She grabbed the file and ran. End of story. What kind of data? No idea, Chief. I grabbed it on a lark when me and uh, Emily were goofing around on the Matrix. The file was encrypted all to hell. I never could get it open. I only took the damn thing because she told me not to. She said that uh, security would be too tight, that I'd get myself killed. But I waltzed on in there and took it all the same. 
You should have seen me, Chief. It was a thing of beauty. I don't think I've ever been uh, as much on my A-game as I was that day. Uh, well, who did you take it from, Blitz? You know, like a corporate database. No big deal. Which corporation? You know, like, uh, no one important. Well, you know, I stole it from as technology. In hindsight, might have not been the best of ideas. You don't fuck with the Azzy's Blitz. Everyone knows that. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Emily wasn't too impressed either. Our only really big fight was over that stupid file. Anyway, time passed. Eventually we made up and laughed the whole thing off. At least I thought we did. Truth be told, I forgot all about it until I realized the data had gone missing. Alright, so love of your life took your encrypted file and bailed on you. What are you going to do about it? Huh, punk? Well, I don't know, Chief. This whole incident has me rethinking a lot of things. What if what if she took the file to protect the Azzies? What if she's with them? I've got to admit, that has me worried. I'm even more torn up now than I was before. I don't know what to do, but I'm open to suggestions. Yeah, you have a directions look now. Get back to there in the Matrix and find her. Yeah, who am I kidding? You're right. I won't be able to stop thinking about this till I found her. So I might as well keep trying. Thanks, Chief. You've been a t huge help. Yeah, let me know how it turns out. I will, Chief. I will. Okay. Is everyone else still tight-lipped? Yeah. Whew. Let's save again. <coughs> uh, take the U-Bond to Aztec Knowledge's Berlin Compound. Uh, I forgot the deets of this mission. Do I need a runner? Who am I taking? Nothing in my inbox. Jobs pending. Active. Uh, Frau Mueller wants to level a building in order to stop the work they're doing. Their accomplished system must overload the facility's power generators. The facility will be defended by both as technology security forces and night errant, including a high threat response team. Uh, frontal assault system not recommended. Okay. need a runner. Okay, this should, I think, fully fund our Alice fund. Okay, so we're talking about our bank heist. Dietrich or Iger? That's my decision right now. You know, Dietrich, he's my haste slave. 
he's there for hasting glory or hasting Eider or hasting me. I guess he also has a heal. I guess that's useful. Going more to say? No. Oh. Oh, I've never. Okay, I didn't see this screen before. Oh, I did see this screen. I've just been forgetting about it for a very long time. So let's see. What abilities can I give him? Accuracy or armor piercing? I think armor piercing sounds good. Awesome. This is Deccan or ESP control. Increase the stack, and this would have been helpful before that last mission. Jeez. Increases um, move speed by four as a zero AP action. Increases by four. Jeez. Or I'd give him like a way better cyber deck. I think that's what he'd want. Yeah. Now what about you, Glory? You want your razors? I sure have a better med kit. Yeah, cool razor armor, definitely. What? <laughs> I don't ever use her adrenal pump. That's it. She can use her adrenal pump on a downed ally to revive them. Okay, that's actually really cool. I guess should I be using her adrenal pump though? Since they share a cooldown, this sounds better for me if I don't ever use her adrenal pump like I already don't. But maybe I should start using it, so I don't know, maybe I shouldn't pick one of these yet. No, I can't like unselect once I've already. Um, let me look up what Adrenal Pump does again. Adrenal Pump, Shadow Run, Dragonfall.
Yeah, I have no idea what the adrenal pump does. Now it sounds cool having her have like an emergency reviving ability. Then again, she does usually bring a basic revive kit anyways. Yeah, we'll take this one. What about you, Deep? Do you have Meltdown? Earth or Fire? Earth, you just seem like uh, a hippie. Okay, so electro cord, I want to have a bigger area of effect or cost less AP to cast. Are we for all of this just picking the top row? No. Okay, for Iger, we already have one in the bottom row. Okay, AP damage is super useful, so flashbang. Uh, this. Oh. Wait, why didn't we give her the sniper rifle ability in the first in, in level two? It's nice to have a sniper rifle, but at the same time, like, we hardly are ever, like, in, at a long enough range that a sniper rifle is useful. Oh, this sounds really cool, though. It ignores armor completely. shock and ammo but oh but I think I want this uh, this up here a custom sniper rifle heck yeah all right confirm Cool, finally upgraded my dudes. I didn't realize I've been completely ignoring that. Let's save again, in fact. Oh, I can't. I guess there's no move.
I'm going to get something to drink. I will be right back. on this job. So we bring Glory, our combat medic. We bring Blitz. Now let's bring out here. We'll leave old Deep back at a uh, back at base. technology, a giant in the worlds of technological and magical research, one of the most powerful and feared corporations on the planet. There are, there are very few places in this world that the tendrils of as technology cannot reach. Germany is no exception. The black glass edifice of an Azi pyramid dominates the courtyard of the Zitadel Spandau, and countless other, more innocuous, innocuous facilities can be found all over Berlin. The lab that they maintain in the Jewul district is one of these. According to your client, the project that the Azis are working on here is dangerous. So dangerous that she's paying you to bring the entire building down. Uh, yeah, I'm good to go. Sure, let's look at our karma. We have only five, so... Let's just save it. The Jewel Districts, everything that your client made it out to be. Corporate complexes of all description crowd into one another, competing for the district's limited space. Lights burn in all of the windows, but the streets stand empty. No shoppers, no pedestrians, nothing but silence. It's quiet out here. 
friend of mine did a job here once. Told me that the local wage slaves are all issued efficiency apartments deep inside the compound. Apparently, the buildings are all linked up to an underground tram system. Bed to cubicle in less than five minutes. Most days, the poor bastards don't even get to see the sunshine. That ain't living. That's a slow death. I just don't get the wage, wage slaves, man. I really, really don't. Uh, sweet. Let's interact with this random terminal thing. Oh. This is an open request for research data from Mass Technology, Jubu District Branch. The Aziz conduct their research in secrecy. They use their money and power to obscure the truth. We will uncover their secrets. We will share them with the world. We will level the playing field between Aztec technology and its competition. The time we deliver this information will be well rewarded. Sweet. So yeah, we'll try and get some info. Hopefully Blitz being here will make that easier. Oh. Hey, hello again, Jack. I have an opportunity for you. You're in a NAS technology facility, yes? Well, that facility is also home to an executive, a small man who foolishly believes he is beyond our reach. In this, he is mistaken. We would like you to deliver a message to this effect. Um. What kind of message? The vocal kind. It's really quite simple. All we want you to do is whisper a phrase into his ear. We are pleased that the Project Vincent is going so well. If you, you wanted to embellish the fact he is receiving this message in the one place where he feels the most secure, we wouldn't stop you. And that's all there is to it, a simple job, but an important one. I have already marked your target's location on your PDA. I've marked it on your map. We have great faith in you, Jack. Please, don't disappoint. Huh. Okay. That sounds easy enough. Oh my goodness, everyone getting in on my cons. Alright, Jack, here's the Az Technology Complex, just in front of you. You'll note the heavy security posted at the front door. Those are Az Technology employees. They're dangerous to be sure, but you could probably take them without too much difficulty. Unfortunately, the Azis have also contracted the Knight Errant to protect this facility. They're the ones we need to worry about. Just to reiterate, you will want to keep a low profile on this run. Get in and out as quickly and quietly as possible. Knight Errant seems uh, keeps a high threat response team on site, and you don't want to tangle with them. Trust me on that. If you do need to go loud, give it everything you've got. You're going to be reducing the building to a smoldering crater anyway, but I'd highly recommend stealth over a frontal assault. All right. Good man, uh, I'd begin by trying to find an alternative path into the building, something out of sight. Once the facility calls for help, you're going to be on a tight timetable. A tight schedule. Cheap corporate art. So this looks uh, doable. Hey, baby. This LTG tech's coveralls are smeared with sweat and grime. A scowl is plastered across her face. She takes a quick glance at you, then turns back to her work. Unless you're here to help me fix this panel, you'd better stay the hell out of my hair. Otherwise, I'll call security and have them drag you out. Ah, Blitz, you take a look. Yeah, you're right. Look, I really appreciate the help, but I have to do this myself. I'm already way behind, and corporate's gonna have my ass if I don't get done before lunch. Yeah, leave it to me, baby. I don't even know you, buddy. Why in God's name would I leave you alone with a panel that I'm responsible for? Yeah, 
Yeah, when did the Azzy's do anything for you? Let me take care of it. Sure. You make a compelling argument. This job's been a load of drex since they canned my assistant. Screw it. Panel's all yours. I'm off to find a pub. Okay. Let's override this. Glittering hulls of Vast Technology facilities stand in sharp contrast to the Megacorp's unsavory reputation. Everything in here screams money, from the mirror polish on the floors to the obsidian inlays in the walls. The generators and the Bloodline project lie somewhere beneath your feet. Nice work, Jack. There have been no alerts thus far. Thus far. Hopefully you'll continue to avoid detection as you make your way through the building. If an alert goes out, I'll get you an ETA on their reinforcements, but hopefully it won't come to that. I've marked an elevator on your PDA. I'd start making my way there if I were you. It's the most efficient path to reach your objective. Best of luck. Project A and we have to give the as technology dude a message. Oh, I like this uh, cool inlay on the floor actually. Okay, so we have only one way to go. Oh, no, 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 no. What is this, a terminal? Blitz, you're in. That's good. Okay. Not unexpected. Blast. Oh, I can't get all three in the blast? What a shame. Oh, oops. I meant to uh, attack this guy. Oh, I really thought the erosion would kill him. cams. Door controls. Elevator controls. What? Are you talking? Oh, okay. Cool. The ring's under our command. Okay, so our exec is over here. I thought I saw someone walking around over here. Just guard there, we don't want to go that way. Oh, okay. 
can't see in through the store, so I'm gonna open it. Sorry. Excuse me. From Fatima J. Meyer to Katya Longo. I've got some pretty grave concerns about this new project. I don't know what they're doing downstairs. Not exactly, anyway. But I'm pretty thoroughly creeped out by some of the inventory requests that's been coming to my desk recently. When we decided to sign on with that technology, we talked this over. We knew the company's reputation, and I said I could handle whatever came my way. But this... I don't know, Kaya. This last order crossed the line. What would the research team need with a bulk order of gags, restraints, and 500 liters of hydrochloric acid? Oh, gotta run. Just got a message over the comm. Looks like Central wants to see me about something. I'll catch you back at your apartment later tonight. Let's talk about this over a bottle of wine. I know I could use it. Just a guess, Chief, but I think she never got to enjoy that glass of wine. I think you're right, Blitz. I think you're right. Uh, so this room, utter no-go. This room does have a dude in there. I don't know if we can sneak by when he's over here or not. So maybe we can try going in through here. Let's save though. So we can scum. Terminal. <laughs> yeah, Blitz, you you get in here. Pay that oh, okay. Oh, okay, it's just regular pay data. It's not the project data that uh, Shockwet and Ryder or whatever want. Huh. Okay, so maybe when this guy's all the way in the front lobby, we can go through here and go into this room up here. There's gotta be something good in there, right? Save again. <laughs> hurry, 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 team. Run, Schnell. Uh, why is no one coming with me? Come on, guys. Oh. Oh, heck yeah. That's so good. Few minutes of cursing and a couple of pop rivets later, the job is done. You take a moment to examine your team, then nod in satisfaction. You look like a group of authentic night errant security officers. Well, that's Andy. I'm all for avoiding a firefight if we can get away with it. Good find, Chief. Heck yeah. Good find indeed. Bloodline. Okay. So now is it fine if they see me? <laughs> is this just the same place? Yeah, it is. Whee! Okay. 
so I don't know if we suddenly hide from security or not. I still want to be as unseen as possible, so I'm gonna wait for this guy to walk back down there to open this door. Okay. Well, I guess that guy will see us. We're just security. <laughs> I didn't hear anything about chaos. It's being deployed in this sector. Why are you here? Okay, well you have security etiquette. Just got the assignment. Central wants a complete perimeter assessment. Uh, strange, they give you any explanation for its request. Do they ever? That's not her voice, but whatever. <laughs> no, of course they don't. Well, best of luck. Let me know if anything's out of order. It is my sector after all. Yeah, you got it. Oh my god, really another guy? Okay, so they both saw me. Thank goodness I'm wearing this. Hey! This going to sound like alarms. A worried looking man in expensive suits pacing back and forth in this room. He locks eyes with you and you can feel the fear radiating out of him. Oh, hey, I don't usually see night errant personnel wandering around this private building. What's up? I have a message for you. We're pleased that Project Vincent is going so well. Our friends wanted me to deliver this message to you in person. Here, in your office. I'm sure you understand. Making the call. Oh, this is going to go be bad, isn't it? Oh well. You'll see how how this bites us in the ass. Your stomach lurches slightly as the elevator plummets downward into the bowels of the Az Technology facility. A faint but omnipresent thrumming sound raises the hair on the back of your neck. The deeper you go, the more certain you become. This place is vibrating with power, both from the generators and from something else. From the hydrochloric acid. Well done, Jack. I'm not seeing any con chatter to indicate that Knight Errant is aware of your presence. I've located a new exit point for you, a security door, conveniently located near the generators. I'll mark its location on your PDA. Keep up the good work, Jack. I'll contact you if anything changes. The door slides open with a hiss, revealing a surprised-looking young woman in an ass technology security uniform. She steps toward you, her weapon drawn. Stop! Who are you? Identify yourself! Named Mueller, K.E. sent me. Yeah, do the favor, ditch the paranoia. Yeah, go ask Central about it. That's probably a horrible idea, actually. Okay, let's rely on our security etiquette. Oh, boy. Okay, so we're going to be on a tight schedule because they need to clear this with Central, and that's going to immediately screw us over. Keep moving, Jack. You're almost there. When you reach the control panel for the generators, the password Xolotl should 
allow you to disengage their safety overrides. Set the destruct and get out. See you at the KP. What is this sound? What is this evil chanting? Blitz, 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 blitz. I need you in there. white ice in the open. Oh, that's no good. You will die. Uh, <coughs> I didn't even see those. Oh, that thing's still alive. Crap. I guess I missed it earlier. Oh, that one's the one with erosion. I didn't need to do that. No. You die here. Missed? Toast. Toasters, toast, toast. Yeah, we're going to need all of this stuff that we can get, I think. Security is going to be very upset when they come back, so I'm trying to hurry. Don't leave it alone. The erosion will kill it. Miss. That's no good. Oh, I'm cheap. Scan for pay data. Nothing of value. Oh, what a waste of time. We need to get out. Okay. I guess 
to go in. Halt! There's a district, a restricted area. <sighs> Let's just keep trying security. I need to see your ID then. You know how a mega level clearance works, so hand it over now. Okay, we're we're the jig's up. Nineteen turns, alright. Okay, Iger, um, can you snip anyone? Uh, you can snip a barrel. Sure. Okay, that was that was nice. That was effective. Okay. Wait. Where are you, Blitz? Why are you all the way back there, Blitz? Oh my goodness. At least we'll see security coming for us. Why did I move there? Glory. What did fray armor do? To a combo. Each hit strips two armor. Okay, we need you to... Oh, you can't do that right now. Um... Combat attack this guy then. Yes, please get near that barrel, sir. Yeah, some burst traffic. I see. 18 turns till arrival. I'm ready. Sorry, I did not know how to get past them without a little bit of bloodshed. It's your turn. Fray armor. Nice. Uh, Blitz, where are you? Please don't hit that barrel. Okay, we're still in combat turns. Is fun. Okay. I need to move up slightly. Glory, open that door. Oh, wait. There were more cameras I could see. Okay. Let's keep moving. 
stay away from that barrel lager. I could destroy the barrels to just clear the way. Oh well. Glory, get to the scanner. You can't. Fun, so I could hang out near barrels or I could go back here. Voice print recognition. Oh, you're kidding me. What? What am I... What am I missing? Okay. Yep. I'm the elf that's gonna bring this place down. That's all you need to know. Sweet. This sucks, man. Why aren't my friends keeping me from doing this? Jack, you need to get here. Let's hang out here. Let's just one out run up to this guy. Give him a dragon's breath. <coughs> nice. Oh, I didn't even see that guy over there. Okay, this is fine, this is fine. Come 
sound attack. Okay. That sucks. Okay, Blitz, you'll have to do it. Get in there, Blitz. Oh my god, I can't, man. Okay, I guess I have to kill these guys. Turns. Jeez, we're gonna cut this real close. Oh, did that other guy die or did he flee? I tried, I tried, I. I can't. Did I have to get here like without setting off security? I just don't seem to have any way to to deck into it. Cause we're 
stuck in, in a combat. So I won't be able to download um, the project data. Or release any of these dudes. <sighs> oh, this feels real bad. Understand? How could I have flushed my way past this group? Well, I'm not happy with this, but I guess that's how it is. I'm sure it's supposed to give me the option of letting my decker deck into it. That's super annoying. Disable the safety overrides. What? Overload. Walk away. Uh, what? Oh yeah, it's a lot of You're right there, go ahead and do it. There's a wobble. Do it. Overload. That's done it. Come on, Chief. Let's listen to Nice Lady and get the hell out. Overload in seven turns. A hyper response team arrival. Seven turns. Okay, sweet. Tiger, glory. Why aren't my drones in follow mode? Something you can use, Blitz? Is 
see it doesn't have like an interact thing on it. Oh crap, it was. No, um... Shit. Well, I did save pretty recently. Let's just see what happens. Why isn't it giving me a prompt over it? I thought that was super weird. Okay. Stand next to it. I don't think we'll be able to do this. Stand next to this one. Okay. Can you guys at least get out? It's a terminal. Oh, that's all it took? Oh. Okay, we don't get to see what Blitz is doing. Bloodline terminal, okay. Erosion. We'll see how this goes, and then we can reload into this. <coughs> we'll still have to get out. We have not opened any of the other doors. I guess those people just die. Sweeping your eyes over and surely recognize a number of words in Latin and Spanish roots, but the language is something altogether different. Many of the words are long and exotic, and there appears to be a form of pictographic language interspersed throughout the text. 
Your best guess is that this is an ancient form of Nuatl. Uh, why the Azis are using it here is beyond you. Well, of course, they're Az technology. What else would they be using? It's fair bet these files are related to. We're going to die in here. I might as well just reload. Uh, Bloodline project. Okay. Copy. Uh, Blitz, I need you to get the hell out of there, man. Are you coming with me, test subject? The man in the cell stares at you through red-rimmed eyes. His body is marked with obvious signs of mistreatment and neglect. He opens his mouth to speak, then closes it again and swallows hard. He tries again, and the voice that comes from him is tremulous and weak. You, you've killed the masters. You slaughtered them like lambs. How is that possible? Uh, want me to get you out of there? Me? Out? How could I go out? It's my place to be in this cage. It's what we were bred for. But you, you killed the masters. It's our place to die, not theirs. Uh, later, later, man. Uh, hmm. Two turns. Yeah, there's utterly no way. Well, let's just see what happens when we explode. Well, we're waiting here for, I guess, Blitz, so... We're all going to die down here. Zero turns. How far can you get, Blitz? Does this just instantly kill us? Yes. The answer is yes. You died. Thank you, I know. So now that we know that, let's not set off the terminal. Can't believe it. Okay, where are you, Blitz? Okay, arrival nine turns. Sweet. Let's open this door, make it a little bit quicker. Uh, you, turn off, please. Main screen, turn off. <coughs> okay, Blitz, can you get in and out super quick? Don't even free these guys. These guys suck. I know that's kind of mean, but it's true. that they are a lost cause. You know, maybe we'll free them. I don't know. We might as well, I guess. Blitz, 
get out of here. No, Lou, yeah, 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 that's fine. Oh, the thing's not even on until I... Okay. Oh, that's annoying. I thought I could just leave and um, leave my dude here to take care of this and open the cell door. Blitz there. Ugh. In what sort of a radius do you explode? This was a bad move, but whatever. Uh, me. Talk to this guy. He's crazy. Who are you? Me? I have no name. I have no need of one. You killed the masters. Brothers and I are grown here, just in tanks. Their purpose is to suffer and die for research data. They wake us from our slumber, sometimes in twos, sometimes more. One is taken to another part of the facility, the testing lab, the rest remain in their cells. They may just run their tests in the... oh... Okay. Oh, that's horrible. All right. Yeah. Okay, we will run, all of us. I'll stack up on this side, please. one over here. I can handle that. Maybe. Uh, 
Blitz, you need your blaster again. Okay, sweet. Wait, I thought it was Tard. Let's go help your buddy now. <laughs> Maybe we leave the buddy and we go to that other door then. I think buddy's fine. Just you up here? Nice. Come on. Six turns. Okay, Jack. Yeah, we'll look at the data. Again, it's in the wattle. Copy. Okay, let's get ready to talk to this guy. <coughs> oh, we don't have to talk to him. Sweet. Nice. Karma gained. Let's leave. I don't know why I'm taking you out of here. You're nothing but a program. Okay, we have to go use the lotl up there. Okay, Glory, get ready to go. Iger, please get ready to go. Characters, a lot of. Come on, Jack. Do it. Overload. Sweet. Blitz. Get the door open for our buddies, please. High threat response team will be here before we leave. That's fine. Oh, I can send a turret through. I mean, a drone through there. Okay, I'm assuming it'll take security some time to get to us, so. Um, okay, can you jack in? Jack, turn on a drone. Oh, no, that's not helpful. Never mind. 
Yeah, just waiting on Blitz. Blitz, come on, man. Blaster. Yes. I hope these guys are following with us. <clears throat> they did. Gradually, the ringing in your ears clears and the world comes into focus. The generator overload did its job, just as Frau Mueller said it would. The mass technology facility has been reduced to a smoldering crater strewn with a chaotic jumble of cracked marble, melting plastic, and broken support beams. You can barely make out the faint wail of approaching sirens. They're still far away, but they won't be for long. Wow, Chief, that was intense. Not that I couldn't handle, of course. This was a little more dramatic than I was expecting. Probably an understatement. Yes, I think they deserved it. <sighs> Creepy. Sirens are growing louder. We'd better get the fuck out of there. What they were doing in there was wrong. More than that, it was terrible. They had to be stopped, and we stopped them. It's as simple as that. Uh, we can talk about this later. We don't uh, have to be here when those response vehicles arrive, right? The test subjects that you liberated mill about aimlessly, blinking against the light. The foremost clone takes a half step forward. But, but what of us? We have no purpose now. This isn't supposed to happen. It's wrong. Without our masters to guide us, what will we do? You're free now. Find a new purpose. We, we will try. Come on, Jack. Let's let's head back on home. We did it, my friends. Dragonfall is not responding. Please do not crash. Okay. Memories of the explosion that toppled as technology facility keep you company on your ride back to the KB. You barely managed to outrun the blast. Now the facility lies buried under thousands of kilograms of twisted rebar and reinforced concrete. No doubt a considerable blow to as technology's activities here in Berlin. Mission successful. It's time to get paid. Game auto saved. I've uncovered some terrible information. The team is assembled in the safe house. Please meet with us when you're able. Okay. Sweet. Let's go to uh, the payphone. 
Well, let's talk to Simi on the way. See if she has any new dialogue. Oh. She leans against the wall, her head down cast, and her face lost in shadow. Black eye. Better than, better than you looks like. There's something going on? Oh. Wait, did Dr. E fuck you over? Ugh, we know he's a scumbag, but holy shit. Did he get her addicted to Ken's? Sure. Freedom. People can do bad things with it, but hopefully people can also use it to protect themselves. Oh, now I can't decode it anymore. Oh well. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I've been sneezing so much. Uh, you, did you sell armor by any chance? Not that I'd be interested. Did his dirty work. Man, the executive pooped their pants. And if he's not dead. See you around, buddy. I, mean, I know we're gonna regret doing jobs for him, but whatever. Uh, how you doing, Cammy? Pretty good. Okay, she doesn't have anything really to say. Uh, should I go talk to Spooky Elf one more time? Oh. Uh, what do you know about Firewing? Uh, what insights do you have, dude?
Oh, really? A Basilisk is nothing more than a Komodo dragon that's been mutated. But a great dragon is a creature of magic. Okay. So how does the story go? Firewing awakened, along with Lofweir, Nebelhair, and Kautenstein, around the first decade of the century. She was first seen over the Harz Mountains, and after a long flight announcing her presence, she began raining fire on every town and village she came across. Uh, angry, deranged, or something else? What motivates a being such as her? No one knows. Firewing has never engaged in dialogue. German military forces are said to have killed her over the Sox the year she merged. This after months of fire, devastation, and terror. Her body was never recovered. some info the toxic shaman cult disciples of cleansing fire okay So, nothing that I give a crap about. I think I need to restock up on uh, medical supplies. I just just remembered. Hopefully, I have some in my stash, and I have to go to the doctor. <laughs> you do you sell S class crap now? Please, tell me you do. No, no you don't. Ugh. I need an S-Class drone. <coughs> what up, pupper? Oh, then... Yeah, let's pet him. Jack, I have new information. I'm afraid that the news isn't good. Yes, this is something that you all need to hear. Well, go on. We're listening. Two years ago, a large shipment of highly lethal bioweapon... Uh, of a highly lethal radioactive bioweapon disappeared en route to a storage facility in Dresden. The weapon was designated X-15. I've traced the path of the missing shipment. It was delivered to the Harfeld Manor. Well, that sounds horrible. It is. I've heard of this stuff before. Back in the service, we called it Doom. I've never run across it in the wild, but I've heard enough horror stories to know that I don't want to. The stories you've heard are correct. This Doom is an extremely dangerous substance. I've been reading up. To this day, the story of Doom remains a cautionary tale in biotech circles. Monoclonal antibody technology is strictly regulated now, and this substance is one of the reasons why. What does this stuff do exactly? Doom kills by destroying a host's muscle tissue via radioactive decay. Each individual Doom antibody is bound to a radioactive bismuth-212 isotope. When introduced into a host, these antibodies bind to surface-level muscle tissue. The tissue is then killed with alpha radiation. This process repeats until the host wastes away and dies. Jesus. I heard that Doom was deployed in a couple of border skirmishes back in 41. After seeing what it did to people up close, the U UCAS passed a unilateral ban on the stuff. If that doesn't tell you how bad it was, nothing will. 
Okay, so I hesitate to ask here, but what would a dragon want with this track? Nothing good. Well, that goes without saying. This development worries me, Jack. It worries me greatly. <laughs> yeah, if it's stockpiling, big problem. Well, in my book, this doesn't change anything. I mean, it ups the stakes if Firewing's allowed to carry out her plans, whatever those might be. But we're gonna stop her before that happens. That was always the plan, as far as I'm concerned. Still is the plan. I agree with Dee. We need to focus on uh, what's in front of us. Whatever the dragon's larger plans might be, the fact that she's after us, uh, we shouldn't let ourselves get distracted. Oh well, yes, I concur. For the time being, we must continue forward. And that means you must continue working toward raising Alice's fee. I'll leave the matter in your capable hands, Jack the Rigger, when you've acquired the necessary funds and are ready to head back out to the rabbit hole. Let me know. From there, we will discuss our next steps. Well, good. If you need me, I'll be getting prepped for the next run. Right behind you, love. Come on, Glory. Let's go. Alrighty. Do we have more divots? A fourth? Did we already watch this? Okay, yeah, we did watch this. Did we? Maybe we didn't. Holy shit, man. I just stumbled on some of Adrian's old lab notes. I'm not gonna say how I came across these. Someone might get hurt if the wrong people watch this. But I've checked them against some of Adrian's old handwriting samples, and they're legit. Holy shit, this is big. Alright, okay. Back up. Slow down. Breathe. Whew. Okay, so these notes. They pretty much confirmed something I'd always suspected. The Luftwaffe or the Luft Luftwaffe didn't shoot down Firewing. I mean, they tried. They pumped thousands of rounds into the air around her, and they lobbed rockets at her for months, lost a lot of attack helicopters and fighter craft, but none of those things were responsible for taking her down. The Dragonfall was caused by an experimental warhead when the Adrian and the Deal Defense think tank designed. I don't understand the science of it, not even a little bit, but from what I can piece together, it looks like they designed some sort of chemical radio radiological agent that acts on the metagene. I don't think that they fully understood what they were doing. It was 2012, after all. I mean, the process worked, but I don't know if they understood why it worked. Anyway, when the warhead full of this stuff comes into contact with a dual-natured creature, like a dragon, it drives a wedge between the creature's physical and astral forms. The body gets put into a sort of hibernation state, and the spirit is forced out. It looks like this process can maintain that state of separation indefinitely, and that's a pretty horrifying thought. A discorporated body is supposed to die in a few hours. I've heard horror stories about ghost-walking mages getting trapped in astral space, unable to rejoin with their meat. I heard they went crazy from the pain. If what I'm reading is accurate, it's entirely possible the Fire Ring has been trapped outside of her body for over 40 years. This is why Adrian was always so cagey about the subject of Fire Wing and after the Dragonfall. He knew for a fact she was alive, even if only technically. Her body crashed down the sock, sure, but she wasn't dead. The government wouldn't let Adrian tell the public about any of this, of course. It interfered with the lie that they were feeding us, that the firing was dead, and that everyone was safe, and that the people should stop hiding in their basements and get back to work again. But privately, he always said that she was still out there, somewhere deep in the socks. I'd always thought that he was paranoid, but I was wrong. He knew. 
So what does all this mean? It means that the stories I got from the ghost rats suddenly sound a lot more plausible. It means that Fire Ring is definitely alive, and that Adrian's disappearance is unquestionably tied to her survival. It also means Germany is in deep shit, because if Fire Wing is still alive, it's only a matter of time before she rears her ugly head again. Okay, that's enough for one night. I'm gonna go get drunk. Look, Adrian, I understand you. Lord knows I do, but you've got to drop this dragon fixation. People are starting to talk. Oh, they're talking, are they? What a terrible shame. Damn it, Adrian, this is serious. You're a public figure. You could lose everything if you don't keep these ridiculous fairy tales to yourself. Hermie, my theories are not as you call them fairy tales. Dragons are real. I saved Germany from one. Have you forgotten? No, of course not. Everyone, everyone knows that you killed the Firewing. Stopped. Not killed. Fine. Stopped. Whatever. Call it whatever you want. But Adrian, you're the only one who's still obsessed with the damn things. There aren't that many of them, and they're not taking over the world. Such is the cry of the cancer patient, unaware of what's killing him. I'm fine, not to worry. I'll smoke another cigarette. What's the harm? He doesn't see what's happening, but he winds up dead all the same. Now you're just being maudlin. Look, Adrian. You mark my words, Her Hermie. Within five years, corporations, even countries, will fall to these creatures. And the worst part is, nobody will care. Oh, people will tut-tut about it. There'll be a protest or two, but nobody will actually do anything to stop them. The immortal, all-powerful, utterly pitiless reptiles will seize more and more of our power, wealth, and territory. And we foolish, short-sighted mortals will never get it back. <sighs> Come now, Adrian. We could solve the problem, of course, but we as a species are unwilling to invest our energy into problems that aren't staring us right in the face. As it was with climate change, so it is with dragons. I've accepted that, but you can't ask me to stop caring about it. You're hopeless, Adrian. Fine. By all means, keep caring. Just keep your conspiracy theories to yourself. I'm telling you this for your own sake. Yes, Hermie, you're right, of course. I mustn't jeopardize my credibility with the masses. <sighs> it's not just your credibility I'm worried about. Talk is talk, but sometimes... Sometimes I worry you're really going to go back to the socks. Hermie, I... Please, big brother, just drop all this. Stop hunting the Firewing and start living your life again. You won't. If you won't do it for yourself, then for Christ's sake, do it for me. Alright, Hermie, I'll try. Jolly Green Winters. Oh, okay, it's Meet and Mate Singles Dating Profile. I'm a fun-loving guy who's also a great listener. I love hiking, clubbing, and all kinds of pets. I'm looking for a cute, funny, adventurous girl who's down to party. I don't respond to profiles without pics. No orcs, no trolls. Sorry, ladies. Uh, alright, fair enough. Age 50. Body type, muscular. Great. I think we've watched all the divots now. Oh, we got an achievement for it. Sweet. Inbox two. Okay, we just watched it. Thank you for your service. We've decided to reward you with a piece of biotech. Okay, so... Oh, the surgery has already been paid for. Oh, heck yeah. Let's definitely go get that. Hey, why don't we have, um... Let's go do that, and then we'll claim this payment, which should be all we need for the Alice Fund.
Uh, but I think before we do that, I will probably head out for the day. But we can at least go see what, what we got for dumping all that crap into a payphone. Hey, Doc. I heard you got some new Bioware. Uh, so should be something that's free. It's this. When triggered, gain plus one AP, but take an additional two damage. Oh, that's not good at all. But I guess we don't have to trigger it. I might as well install it, right? It's free. Sure. have enough money for much else. Oh wait, is that um is that basically Glory's adrenal pump? Is that what it does? Okay. No wonder we don't ever use it. Ooh, tailored pheromones. Uh, it would still be nice to get some legs and arms and stuff, but that's fine. Oh, you know what? I'm going to say it and call it. Oh, we have a ton of karma to use. Heck yeah. So I'm going to get off for the day, I'm going to go eat lunch or something. I hope everyone has a great Saturday, and I will probably not stream till Tuesday, but I might tomorrow, I don't know, I don't, I don't plan ahead really for that, so if I don't do it tomorrow, then Tuesday I'll definitely be streaming at 6pm, so later.